Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the pneumonia and a sign called as still how think sign. Okay, maybe spelling is wrong. Uh, yeah, definitely it's wrong. Still how sign. Okay, now, so first, if you see, uh, these are the pictures of the alveoli. Here in A picture, here you can see that this is the alveoli which is filled with pus. Pus present in the alveoli. So it is obviously a pneumonia. What type of pneumonia is it? It is a lobar pneumonia. If the alveoli are filled with pus, then it is lobar pneumonia. Here the alveoli are completely normal. Even here, the alveoli are completely normal. But if you see here, the alveoli are filled with slight amount of pus, but there is inflammation of bronchial walls is noted. Because here there is inflammation of bronchial walls is noted. So this is a type of bronchopneumonia. Okay, this is a type of bronchopneumonia. Next. What is the difference between lobar pneumonia and bronchopneumonia on chest x-ray? On chest x-ray actually lobar pneumonia is very easy to, is very easy to uh, differentiate from bronchopneumonia. But sometimes due to ill-defined uh, Ill uh, opacities, it may become difficulty. It, may, it might pose difficulty. So, if you see actual differences between the lobar and bronchopneumonia, lobar pneumonia is always homogeneous in the lobe. So, in lobar pneumonia, if there is a disease here, it is almost homogeneous and might involve the complete lobe. So, in this case, the left upper lobe is completely involved. It can be non-segmental or patchy also which is confined to a lobe. Non-segmental and patchy can also be confined to a lobe. But one important thing in lobar pneumonia is that this lobar pneumonia will show an air bronchogram. It will show an air bronchogram. Okay. Now, um, so pleural effusion can also be seen in lobar pneumonia. It may produce swelling or expansion of the effect, affected lobe also. Sometimes cavities may also be seen in Lobar pneumonia. Lobar pneumonia most commonly occurs due to organisms like Streptococcus pneumonia and Klebsiella pneumonia. Then the second type of pneumonia is actually a bronchopneumonia. Bronchopneumonia can be either mild or severe. If bronchopneumonia is mild, the first thing is around the bronchi. We have bronchi here. Around the bronchi, you might note the presence of peribronchial thickening can be seen. This peribronchial thickening is what causes ill-defined nodular pattern. Okay, this nodules are seen. Why? Because of the peribronchial, that is around the bronchi, there is thickening. Because of this peribronchial thickening, we can see that these nodules are formed. Okay, then... In general, nodules and linear opacities are seen to be scattered and diffuse in bronchopneumonia. Sometimes there can be inside the bronchus itself, there can be mucus plugging. If this is the bronchus, in the secondary bronchus or smaller bronchus, there can be mucosal plugging and this might result in narrowing of bronchi. So, during this time, because of the narrowing of bronchi, air cannot enter into this bronchi. And as a result, volume loss of this part may, might be seen. Can be associated with pleural effusion also. In bronchopneumonia, bronchopneumonia can be caused by many organisms. Like it is caused by Klebsiella pneumonia, Escherichia coli, Pseudomonas, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pneumonia and other ones. Now, one important thing here which we have to learn here is about the still heart sign. Okay. First, if you have to know about still heart sign, what is a still heart? 
This cell heart is actually an outline. That means if you see in the thorax, there is lungs, okay, there is a heart and you have a diaphragm and you have the second diaphragm, right diaphragm, left diaphragm and you have heart. So, the outline is what is called as cell heart. That means though the whole picture is in black and white, you can clearly mark the outline of each of the organs. Now, what is a still heart sign? A still heart sign means here if there is a lesion in the lung plate and if this lesion is touching the border of either heart, it is touching the border of heart or diaphragm or iota. When it touches the border of heart and diaphragm and iota, this will obliterate the border. Because of this, there is loss of normal continuity. The normal continuity which should be there, that is lost in this case. There is loss of normal continuity. So, this is what is called as a still heart sign. This still heart sign is actually given by, um, it is named after but though he is not the one who has given this sign for the first time. Actually, if you see a normal chest x-ray, you will see the well-defined. In normally, you will see well-defined borders of the heart. You will see well-defined borders of heart and also the diaphragm. See, it is easily well-defined. Heart and also diaphragm borders are well-defined. But if there is any disease, in such cases, this well-defined diaphragm and heart will be lost. So, if you see, this is a normal chest x-ray. Then you can see that this is the well-defined heart. These are the well-defined two domes of the diaphragm. Then, clinical applications of sil heart. See, here if there is a sil heart, sil heart. What is sil heart here? Here, if there is a pneumonia or some thing. See, in this picture of A, the left dome is not clear. Here, the heart border, the heart is not clear. Heart on the left side is not clear. Here, similarly, heart on right side is not clear. Here, the right dome of diaphragm is not clear. So, if you see here, when the left dome of diaphragm is not clear, here we have left lobe of lung. So, here there is left lower lobe pathology is should be suspected. If you see here, the right part of the heart is blurred. Sorry, the left, the left part of the heart, the left margin of the heart is blurred. So, here you should suspect the lingular segments of the upper lobe disease. Okay. Now, here if you see the right margin of the heart or right border of the heart is blurred. So, this you should suspect the right middle lobe disease. Similarly, here the right dome of diaphragm is lost. That means there is right lower lobe disease should be suspected. Okay. Now, next picture. Here, if you see here in the right middle zone, you are seeing an obesity. It is actually obesity in right middle zone. Okay. This is right middle zone pneumonia obviously. It is right mid zone pneumonia. Here one more important thing is here the uh, right heart margin is lost. Okay, then if you see here, there is uh, the cardiac shadowing, there is irregularities in cardiac shadowing is seen. That is the intensity of cardiac shadowing varies. So that means this is also intensity of heart shadowing varies and this is also one of the 
picture of middle lobe pathology, middle lobe pneumonia. Next. Here the patient again. Here if you see this, the right dome is okay, but here left dome is uh, ill-defined. So here there is left dome is ill-defined. So because the left dome is ill-defined, that means there is actually a left lower lobe pneumonia or left of lower lobe consolidation or pneumonia is seen. So if you do a repeat x-ray after giving antibiotics, see here there is no, the, the left dome of action has come to be normal. Next. Here if you see, there is, this is the left border of heart. So left border of heart is not well defined. So here if you see this is the left border of heart is well defined and the left dome of diaphragm is also ill defined. Okay, so this means here even left dome is also ill defined. Left dome of diaphragm is also ill defined. So that means number one, there is some left lower lobe mass. Even see, even the masses, seal heart sign, this seal heart sign is also seen not only just in pneumonias, but it is also seen in um, tumors, lobar collapses. You can see the seal heart sign. Similarly, you can see it in lung tumors. Or in mediastinal masses, we can see the silhot sign. It is not just pneumonia where we see this silhot sign. Then, here again, if you see, this is one more silhot sign, and this is actually a mass lesion which is obscuring the border of the heart. So, this is here the right border. Right border of heart is obliterated. Because here the right border of heart is obliterated mainly because of this mass lesion, which is a benign lesion, can be a pericardial cyst or something or anything. So, always and always you should see the borders of heart, diaphragm. So, you should see the borders of heart, diaphragm always to rule out if there is any other illness. So, now this is next. Here, if you see. The right border of the heart is indistinct. That is right heart border is ill-defined. Always if this is the case, the one thing which comes to your mind is that there is right middle lobe collapse. But this is actually normal. Why? Because Sternum, depressed sternum, whenever there is, there is depressed sternum here, this depressed sternum will push heart posteriorly and to the left. So, because of this decreased stern, depressed sternum, because of this depressed sternum, this uh, depressed sternum will push heart posteriorly. And also to the left. And because of this posteriorly and to the left, there is no heart border which is seen on the right side because the heart border will go behind the sternum and thus it is not seen. Or else, let's test everything is normal. These are just the Hydar markings. Next. Even here, there is blurred area. Here, uh, the, there is right heart border blurring here also. This right heart border blurring can be the main reason. This is actually a normal x-ray, but the right heart border blurring is mainly because of the epicardial fat. This epicardial fat is responsible for the right heart blurring of the uh, in the chest x-ray, which might mimic uh, some middle lobe pathology.
So next here, here also there is some loss of you know this is Sinhart sign. Okay, here the left heart border actually it is not completely bare. It is sharp. Here left heart border is sharp. But still there is a consolidation in the left lower lobe. So one thing you should remember is that the though the border is sharp, though there is no silver sign, that did, did not mean that there is no consolidation. Consolidation is present even if the left heart border is sharp. In here the right heart border is sharp but still consolidation is present in the lower lobe. Then. Then if you see the silhar sign, sometimes the condensations which are seen here, here if you see the dome of diaphragm is sharp and even this is type of consolidation which is seen in the lower lobe. In order to assess this very well, you will have to assess this properly, you will have to do a lateral x-ray. See in the lateral x-ray, you will see that there is consolidation and there is even blurring of the diaphragm is seen uh, at that particular site. So this is about the Silhar sign and pneumonia. Thank you.